What is up, you guys? I love going live in this group. Okay, so hopefully I am live in the right group. And today I'm talking to you guys about some really good stuff. Like it's the stuff that I would wanna know. So I'm gonna let a couple of you guys hop on live. I have all of the Halloween vibes today between like the nails and the Hocus Pocus cup. I'm excited to talk to you guys about this. So I had done a presentation at leadership about this and Jake Story from corporate reached out to me and asked if I would share all of the goods with the champions group. So. Hello, as you guys are hopping on, just give me like an emoji of excitement. Mostly so that I know that I'm in the right group and that you guys are in fact excited about this because I promise you it will be gold. So like I said, this is what I shared at leadership and it's all about presenting. Thank you. It's all about presenting the business opportunity, presenting coaching, not sounding weird about it. Um, knowing what to post on social media, what I post on social media, how I invite people, how I present the business from open to close, like how I talk about the business without, you know, sounding weird or awkward or salesy. And then how I take them all the way through set expectations and sign up working coaches. So I'm super pumped about this. I hope you guys are pumped about this. Yay. Thank you for the emojis. All right. So technically this is called the, the title of what I want to talk to you guys about is called presenting the business opportunity today, because I don't know if you guys know this or if you guys have been around long enough, but whenever I first got started, by the way, can you guys hear me? Okay. The other day, whenever I was, I was on live, there was weird sounds, but I think we're good. Mm hmm Hard it up. Okay, so whenever, you know, whenever I first got started in the business, there was things like shake and shares, and you would basically present the opportunity or your challenge group in your living room. You would make a Shakeology, and you would present it to people, and you would hopefully sign up one or two people like that's what that's how we used to present the business opportunity and i will say that i went i never actually did that i was someone that was very shy whenever i first got started i the idea of going live like this would have given me a full-blown heart attack and i think that you know fast forwarding to today being able to completely build our business on social media is such a gift and to be able to share it's so authentically and to not feel weird about it and to be able to share the fitness side of things and to grow that way. It, it's just, we're just lucky to be coaches, honestly. And so whenever I made that transition from three coaches a month, like struggle bus three month, three coaches per month, which I, I honestly would be like wrecked at the end of the month and feel so defeated because I would see coaches hitting success club 100 and I would think like, how can I do that? And it never really, and I want you guys to learn from that. I never once saw a coach on the national league of call or a coach be recognized for high success club numbers and look at them and be like, why them? And why not me? It really wasn't about that. And I never had that mindset. It was really, well, if they can, then I can too. So I want you to switch that mindset. Like whenever you do hear a coach on the national wake up call, like Mandy this week. So my coach Mandy did the national wake up call this week and it was phenomenal. And she's seen such success in the last two years, like a very short time. So instead of looking at a coach like that and being like, I can't do that, look at it and be like, no, I can too. Cause clearly it's possible. So that was really the mindset shift that I had had. And I saw these coaches hitting success club 100 and recruiting like a bazillion coaches. And I remember messaging one of my, one of my uplines, uh, Janelle Summers and being like, what are they doing? And she said, you can do this. Like you can 100% be one of those coaches. And so I flipped that switch and I made it my mission to be someone that really brought on working coaches and set that precedent early on that it was coaches that started strong and that did see success. Cause really that's what, that's what truly gets me in this business. Like that's what I love about this business. So I will tell you guys step one, I'm going to take you guys through all my steps. I'm a very tangible person. I'm a very teacher type of person. I don't really do like the motivation rah, rah, rah. I'm like, here's my toolbox. Just take my things. So I feel like you guys will more so appreciate that. So I can share, um, PDFs and screenshots of all of this once I'm done. But the first, first, first thing I did is I overhauled my social media, not just in the way, like, I know that you guys have heard about an avatar, like talking to your ideal Hi, Sarah Molnar. Um, like talking to your ideal customer or client. I get that. And we all have mapped out like who are ideal coaches. Cool. If you've done that, awesome. If you haven't done that, take the time to do that. But more so than doing that, I think that it's important to think about the way that we talk to our ideal coach and the way that they want to be spoken to. Like there's a certain way that I wanted to be spoken to whenever I was brought into this business. It, and that wasn't to hear all the facts and figures. It was really to just be their friend, feel like there was a sense, a sense of special connection there and that my life would get better if that makes any sense. And there is a certain way that we like to be spoken to and that we like to 
be, you know, introduced to things. And a lot of us, we, we can sense the BS like a mile away. I always call it the BS meter. Like if someone, do you guys ever get those messages where they're like, hi, how are you today? And you're like, what do you want? So we know, right? And so I thought about that and I thought about what my brand was, but not just in the sense of who I was trying to target, but who I was trying to speak to and how I was speaking to them. So I took this brand quiz by Nini Akpin. So it's called the brand personality quiz. And I'll, like I said, I'll share a screenshot with you guys, but one of the questions in this quiz, so it's one of those, like, if you guys ever did those quizzes in like Cosmopolitan magazine or whatever, it's kind of like that. So you answer all these questions, but it, for me, it wasn't just the results that I got. Like, it's really cool. You get a result of either like the queen, the lover, the wanderer. I've seen a, my team does these. So I've seen all the different answers. Mine is the lover, which shocker. It's like all pink and butterflies and hearts. And what I, what I learned the most was not the results. It was the questions. So one of the questions I have it here on my screen, I'll show you guys, actually, I'll flip my flip my screen show you guys. So this is what it looks like. And I will share this with you guys. So you can actually grab that link niniakpin.com slash brand dash quiz. So these are the questions that she asked. And this is really like this hit home for me. Whenever I read this, I was like, I've never even thought about this. So how do you want to help the people that you work with? AKA your coaches that you're signing up. Do you want to rescue them? Do you want to take them on a journey? Do you want to empower them? Do you want to fascinate them? Do you want to make them believe in themselves? Um, do you want to make them feel loved? Do you want to help them make an impact? Do you want to show them beauty? Do you want to make them successful? That might sound like very similar things, but it's, it's not at all. They're entirely different feelings. And for me, the big word that I had was I want to make people dream a little bit bigger. And whenever I started to use that language in my social media, that's when things started to change for me. So Whenever I speak to coaching in my social media, so I have two Instagram pages and the reason why I created two Instagram pages. So I had the same Instagram from since I started coaching, I had Angie, Angie Belmar fitness is my Instagram and it grew to over 70,000 followers. And what started to happen was a lot of my coaches and just coaches that I would meet, they'd be like, well, you're successful because you have a lot of followers. And I thought, cool game on, I'm going to make a new one and we'll see what happens. I'm not going to talk about it anywhere. I'm just going to make a fresh little baby page. It's going to be entirely different. It's not going to be fitness based. People won't even know about beach body on that page and we'll see if I can grow it. And I did. So I think it hit 13,000 yesterday. Now, is it smaller? Yes. But you know what I love about it? It has just as much engagement. So it, it doesn't, I, I really feel like it's such a cop out to say, well, I don't have a lot of followers. Cool. Grow your followership. And I, I heard this from Ashley Molstead the other day, who is a genius, by the way, I, I love her. And she was saying that as coaches, a lot of us what we'll do is it'll be like we're sitting at a dining room table and we're completely ignoring our guests and we're going out into the street and banging, banging pots and pans and being like, come to my house for dinner instead of just serving who's at your table. If you have a hundred followers on Instagram, that's a hundred people that want to know what it is that you're doing. Right. And our, you know, go to is to often just be like, well, I need more followers when you have a hundred people that just want to get to know you better and are just already following you and like all the stuff that you do. So think about that. So one thing that I do on both of my pages, especially on Instagram and on YouTube and all that, and I'll go through that. Um, I make it my mission to bring people into my world. So I will show them the business opportunity just by immersing them in my world. And so I will post things like me at, I went to Jamie and Kim Fitzpatrick's retreat. I was a speaker there. It was amazing. And I just took a picture on the dock and I'm like, this is my life. Like this is where I've come to from now. Never in there do I say like, join my team. You can be a coach. I just immerse them in my world. The other thing that I do is every time that I travel or every time that I go anywhere, even if that's a walk to the coffee shop or to freaking Disney world. I document my daily life so people can really see, okay, this is what she's doing on a day to day. And I can do that too. And that's the sole purpose of the reason why I document my life. It's not to ever be braggadocious. It's not to ever make it look exciting. I actually prefer when it looks a little bit boring because people can relate and they go, Oh, I can do that too. Like she's normal. So document your daily life. And the other thing is to work your gratitude muscle. So as coaches, I will say that we suck at this because it's always like, when's the next paycheck? How much more can I make? Which rank can I get to? And I want, and I want, and I want to do this. And we don't ever celebrate like the stuff that we do. And I had, I had gone through a phase where I had stopped doing this, where I would hit a rank or I would achieve a certain milestone in my business or one of my coaches would achieve a milestone. Or like I had a challenger that would lose a certain amount of weight. Let's keep going. And it, it just honestly, like it took the wind out of my sails. And a lot of you guys might be doing this where you're just not 
loving the everyday and that you're working those gratitude muscles. And I share this because it can be a daily post. And I will say that Mandy, my coach Mandy, is amazing at this. So if you guys haven't gone to follow her on Instagram yet, she's the one that did the National League Call, like I was saying. She's so good at this. And this is how she's grown her team so much is she works her gratitude muscles every single day and she works it into her daily post on Instagram. By the way, how cute. It's from my coach Tiffany. So that to me, so that's like three ideas of posts. You can immerse them into your world. You can document your daily life and you can work your gratitude muscles. And all of that shares the business opportunity without being weird. I feel I can just share uh, like, oh, well, if I get in trouble, I'm sorry, but I'm going to share the slides with you guys. Even if you weren't at leadership, you might as well be able to see them. So this is the post that I was talking about in the Muskoka's. So immerse them into your world, document your daily life. Like none of these say like, Hey, join my team, but you bring them into your world and then work your gratitude muscles. So pop that champagne every single day. Hopefully this is kind of giving you guys some ideas. All right. Then, you know, before anyone even gets started on my team, I set the expectations. So whenever I said that I went from three coaches a month to 30 plus working coaches a month, how do you do that? The way that I did it is I flipped the way that I was speaking to people before they even got signed up. I didn't wait till they were signed up to be like, okay, now we're going to do this, 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 and this. It was really before they got started. And when they were following me on social media, on my stories, on my YouTube, on my Instagram, I would do posts like perfect example. The other day I did a post that it was just a picture of me and I said, shout out to the girls waking up early and staying up late and hustling for their dreams. So never in that am I saying, hey, and you guys might be guilty of this because I was guilty of this. Anyone can do this and you can build this business in like 10 minutes a day. Don't even worry. And you're, you could be a millionaire one day. And we do that. And then we wonder why we have coaches that sign up and they're like, uh, I'm overwhelmed and I don't know what to do. Because the expectations haven't been set early on that this is like a real business that you work at it and it does take a lot of work and you do have to put the time, effort and energy into it. So I'll tell you guys, whenever I post on social media, I talk about that. Whenever I post on my stories, I talk about that and I talk about what I've been doing and hustling towards my dreams. And I really do, I glorify the hustle, similar to how Gary Vee does it. Like it's no fun to just be at the end and be like, cool, I'm 15 star diamond and top coach and awesome, like done. Like that's not, you know, it's, it's really the grind to get there. And whenever you do look at a coach that's seen that level of success, they've all gone through the ups and the downs. And that's what you really remember is like the days that you just picked yourself back up and you freaking hustled. And so I share those moments. I share all of the hustle. Exactly. Sid highlight the hustle love. So in terms of posting, that's what I do. But then in terms of when I present the business opportunity, which I'm going to show you guys exactly how I present the business opportunity. But one thing that I talk about in that is the ROI and the ROI means the return on your investment. And the way that I explain is I say, you're going to help three people get signed up this month and you will not only earn back your investment, the investment that you made in your challenge pack, but you will earn a profit, which is unheard of in business ever. And that's how we're going to do that. So I already kind of speak that business language so that they understand like, this is what we're gonna be doing. I always have the attitude of hustle. The other thing that I do is I do leaderboards publicly for my team, but I don't use beach body language. Like I don't use success club or diamond or emerald because the general public doesn't know what that mean what that means. I'll just be like top rock stars of the week that they understand. And they also understand that, okay, when I do get started, there are certain expectations and certain goals to meet. Does that make sense? Okay. So now I'm going to show you guys exactly how I recruit, recruit, like what I post on social media. So I'll flip my screen again and show you guys this, but everything from my YouTube video. So if I do like a day in the life video on YouTube or a, um, the one that I did was like how I, what I do and how I did it, I think is what I titled it. And it basically just shows like a view into what we do as coaches. And in that I'll have in the description, a bit.ly. Do you guys know what bit.ly is? Bit.ly is basically this free website service that you can use and you can make a personalized web address so that it just looks a little bit more professional so that it's not like teambeachbody.com slash sign up slash code blah blah it's not that or it's not um like a t like a form link or anything like that it's a it actually looks professional so mine's just bit.ly slash join team uproar or whatever it is and it can be anything that you want it to be and it's totally free to use it so you basically paste in the long code and you shorten it hello i can see i can still see that there's people hopping on you guys are going to want to watch the recording of this 
or you guys might want to rewatch this because I feel like it's a lot of information. So I will share that bit.ly link, which takes people to a form. So you can use Typeform. I like typeform.com. It just looks professional. And when you swipe through it, it's all pretty and everything. And you can personalize it. You can add a background and all of that. Um, you can use Jotform. You can use Google Form. You can use Wufu Form. And so in that form, what I do is whenever people input their information, which is ultimately just name, your goals, your email address, are you already working with a coach? Do you have a coach? Are you a coach? Are you a coach on my team? Like I basically make sure that all those questions are answered. And then from there, I have their contact information and then we can talk about coaching. So I will always put that bit.ly link that goes to a form attached to everything. And this is why I call it all roads lead to coaching. So the way that I organize my business is I host a sneak peek into coaching every second week. So while I'm not the most organized coach, I do have that sense of structure in my business. So I know when new coaches are coming in and I know when I'm inviting to the business. So every second week I host a sneak peek. I'm hosting a sneak peek this week. And so what I'll do before that is I'll create videos. I'll create Instagram stories. I'll create Instagram posts where all roads lead to that one form so that I can go into that form every single day, grab people's emails, send them a reply and be like, oh my gosh, you would be perfect to join my sneak peek based off of your goals. I think you'd be a great fit for this. Why don't you join, be a fly on the wall for three days and see if you know this is the right fit for you. So I, like I said, I do that on YouTube. I'll flip my screen again and show you guys. Hopefully I'm not making anybody dizzy, but I feel like I, I would wanna see this stuff. So this is the YouTube video and I have tons of these that I do. So what I do and how I did it, answering it all. And then you can see that link is right there. Then same thing on Instagram stories, help wanted swipe up to join. If you don't have the swipe up thing, it doesn't matter. You can just click, say click link in my bio and have that there. And then Inst Instagram post or Facebook post, I'll be like coach life revealed, free sneak peek, join here and then it'll say click the link in my bio or drop your email below and if they leave an email below or they dm me then guess what they get the link to that form so that that's basically the three ways that i bring people in and i just i blast it all over my social media after sharing enough value when i do that and if i've done enough videos like a day in the life video then thank you dean then i I, they understand what it is that I'm doing and then there's that much less objections and questions because there's just that much more clarity. So from there, the sign up process. Bringing people in, you know, it's one thing to get emails, um, to gather people's information, but how do you actually get people signed up? I will tell you. So hopefully by now, most of you have heard the concept of a sneak peek. If you haven't, I'm gonna explain it to you. So Ainsley, I'm gonna explain it to you. A sneak peek is ultimately a private setting. It's a private VIP experience where you create this sense of trust. That to me is the number one goal with a sneak peek. And a sneak peek can be in a private Facebook group. It can be in a chat group on Facebook. It can be in a text message group. Like it doesn't have to be anywhere special. I was telling my coaches the other day, like use the challenge tracker app if you want to, to host your sneak peeks. Like it, it doesn't really matter how you do it. As long as you can create a VIP experience where it's private, they feel like they were invited to it and they feel like they can ask you anything and where you have total, total transparency. So that's what I always strive to do. The other thing that I strive to do in a group is create social proof. So let's say you have five plus people in there. Well, if one of those five is asking, Hey, um, I'm just, I'm just, you know, skeptical about this. Like, do we have to do presentations in people's living rooms? Cause that's something I would have asked, but I would have been the girl that was too shy to ask. So I always think about those people. So I think about the people that are not only going to ask questions that maybe someone might not have had the cojones to ask or better yet, if someone says, Oh my gosh, I love this. I'm getting signed up then someone else might be like, oh, okay, so this is a real thing. I'm gonna get signed up too. So that's the, that's the concept of social proof. And I will tell you guys the exact recipe of my sign up. So your group can be one day, it can be a couple hours, it can be two days, it can be three days, it can be five days. I will tell you guys that I used to do five days, I have done one day, and for me, the perfect recipe is three days. Now. I'm pretty sure that my coach Mandy, who is one of the top coaches on my team, does two days. And I'm pretty sure that my coach Emily, who's the other top coach on my team, she does one day, like a couple hours. So it really doesn't matter as long as you have these things that I'm going to show you. So I have three videos and I do them 10 minutes each and they can just be filmed on my phone. Like it doesn't have to be that exciting. So the first video is my story of how I just 
came to be a coach, like how I found this opportunity. It's usually more related to fitness and wanting to change people's lives. Um, so Katie, to answer your question, you can totally do them live or you can pre-record them. I would say to practice, just go in there live. Like that's what I tell my new coaches to do. Just do it live. Or if your upline has these, you can do a little bit of a snippet before of yourself and then add in your coach's video at the end too, just if you wanna get better at video, cause I get it. Like, I just think that it comes down to practice. So I say live and, or film new videos every single time. So share your story, more so like the fitness side, you know, that idea of changing lives, at least that's what it was for me. So how I, the first question they ask on the wake up call, how did you get introduced to Team Beachbody? That's the first question, so your story. The second video, which is also 10 minutes, no more than 10 minutes, people don't have that attention span, an average day in the life. So what I do is I'll basically grab my phone and I'll follow myself around all day. I'll come downstairs, I'll do my personal development, I'll make my Shakeology, I will usually then go down to do my workout and I'll come upstairs, I'll have breakfast, I'll check into my challenge group, I'll check into my team group. Even you guys to hear this, are you like, oh wow, that's what she does in a day? Like, that's interesting. People want to know what we do. So I, and it might seem really boring to us, but people literally want to know, like, how does she structure her day? Like, what does that look like? And then the other thing that I tie in is objections. So anything that people might be thinking, everything from, you know, the scary questions to like, do I have to present to people's living rooms? Is this an empty box of tricks? Like that type stuff. And I just answer all the questions that I had before I was a coach. And I just tell them like, I felt the same way. And this is what I found. So feel felt found. I understand how you feel. This is what I've, I understand how you feel. I felt the same way. And this is what I found. Feel felt found. So that's video two. Video three is where I was then and where I am now. So the last question on the national wake up call that they always ask is how has your life changed because of beach body? And yes, super emotional question. I think for everyone, whether you've been in this for a month or five years, which is how long I've been in this, I share all of this stuff. And I want you to know that I don't share that it doesn't come down to, and I don't want you to discredit yourself right off the bat. Cause that would be me. I'd be like, well, I haven't made that much money that it's not that inspiring. That's not what they want to hear. No one wants to hear about the mansions and the Ferraris. That's icky and weird. So what I share is the memories that are made, the freedom that's found, the confidence, like those types of tangible things are really, to me, what makes the difference when you're presenting the business opportunity. And it doesn't come down to, like I said, the facts and the figures and the numbers. That's just icky and weird. People want to know your story and how your life has truly changed. So that's what I share is the actual memories that are made because of my decision of joining Team Beachbody, the freedom and the confidence that was gained. So those types of things. So that's, that's the recipe of my sneak peek. And if you want to tack on, let's say you do want to do five days, what I usually do is I'll go live at the beginning and live at the end. So if you have three pre-recorded videos, that's how you can do it. So that's the exact, exact sign up recipe that I have. And then in terms of closing the deal. So again, it's one thing to present the opportunity to gather emails, to host a pr business presentation, but the fortune really is in the follow-up. And if you've never heard anyone say that, Mindy Wender, one of like my all-time favorite coaches ever, I always say, what would Mindy do? Mindy taught me this as a new coach. The fortune is in the follow-up. If you aren't following up, you are probably leaving so many people behind. I was followed up with. And you can think of it, like there's, there must be so many times in your life that you might've opened up a Facebook message and left it and forgotten about it. Just we're goldfish. Like that's just the world that we live in. It is what it is. So to follow up with someone is everything. So I will tell you guys the three ways that I, I want to make sure I have my notes. The three ways that I basically call people to action, scarcity, urgency, and incentives. So in terms of urgency, I say that it's time sensitive. And like I said, I host my sneak peek every second week. And I will tell you guys when I do it, I do it Wednesday to Friday. So three days, or I do it Thursday to Saturday. And the reason why I do that is if you're kind of thinking about where people are at in their day, if they've gone through a full work week at their nine to five job, and that's the type of person that I'm trying to target, you know, the type of person that I relate to is someone that's working a nine to five job that isn't happy and has had it by Friday and Saturday, right? Like they don't want to go back to work. So I do time sensitive. We will be doing a getting started right call by Monday and you have to be signed up by Sunday so that you can be on that getting started right call. So time sensitive, adding that sense of urgency. Then scarcity spots left. And I have heard so many coaches say this, like, and can I just get on my little soapbox for a second? Cause I, I just want to have you guys back for two seconds. I've heard trainings before when I was a new coach or just an up and coming coach that was trying to find my way. And I would hear things on the national league of color on trainings like this. And I would think, 
oh, so I'm not supposed to do that? Or I don't, oh, take everything that you hear with a grain of salt. Like this is your business. You can pull two things from everything that I've just shared with you and tie it into what makes you you. You don't have to take everything for gospel. And one thing that was told to me as a new coach was if you're doing this whole spots left thing, it's BS and it's, it's not authentic. And I thought, well, that's what I'm doing. And it's like, it's working for me. And I feel like it is authentic. I'm here to tell you that if it works for you, do it. So to me, that's how I always look at it. If it's, if it's bringing in people and my business is growing, then it's working clearly. And so I want to tell you guys the way that I do this whole limited spots thing. It's not a bunch of baloney. It's literally exactly how I structure my business because I know how many people I can have on that getting started right call on Monday and that's how many people I make room for. So if I say, hey, I'm only taking on 10 people and I'll literally do a list of like one to 10 and I'll show them, hey, the Sally and Samantha and Sandra have gotten signed up and then there's seven spots left. So it creates that sense of scarcity that I'm not just gonna take everyone on. And then in terms of incentives, you can offer a little welcome pack, like a little goodies book of either maybe a personal development book. Like I used to offer a little Shakeology pack or like even an Energize pack and the GoPro book. You can buy the GoPro book in bulk or um, that other book by Romy Neustadt called Get Over Your Damn Self, amazing book. So a little welcome pack, a little, you know, a little goodie, and you can tell people that in your sneak peek, hey, anyone that gets signed up by Sunday night at midnight with a challenge pack will receive this little welcome pack. So hopefully that kind of answers your questions of how to get people started and how to present the business from beginning to close, like from open to close whenever you're first talking to people on social media. Um, and I just wanna leave you guys with a little thought and I was going to say this at leadership, but because I was on stage, hopefully I'm not missing any questions. I'll, co I'll go through and answer all of your questions after this. But the one thing that I wanted to share at leadership was this whole concept of, you know, when you, when you got signed up and when you first were invited to the, the opportunity, and obviously if you're in this group, you're doing something, you know, you've grown your business tremendously and whether you recognize that or not, like even if you're about to be an Emerald coach or you're about to hit success club, you're doing the things, like you have a vision and I want you to know that. So someone invited you to this opportunity and you're probably eternally grateful to that person. I hope that you are. I am to the person that invited me. It changed my life forever. I wouldn't be sitting here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be the person that I am today if I wasn't invited. And I always look down the road now at, you know, now that my team has grown, I look at the, the personally sponsored coaches that I have and I look at their personally sponsored coaches and I look at how that one decision to be to get over myself and to actually present the business opportunity to actually go out and invite that person and how much that had an effect on my personally sponsored coach but not just them and their part personally sponsored coach and I just watched two of my diamond coaches host retreats diamond plus coaches host retreats this weekend and I, I zoomed in and I talked to both of their downlines and to see the lives that you impact down the road and that butterfly effect of just inviting and to stop seeing it as this weird thing that if you do sign up 30 people, are you a monster? Absolutely not. You're changing 30 people's lives. And down the road, those 30 people could have 30 team retreats a year from now where they're changing people's lives. Like all of this to me is a life-changing opportunity in so much more ways than income and business it's friendships it's confidence um it's a life change and i think about you know there's there's a girl in my downline named danae she's personally sponsored by mandy kai and hopefully danae is okay with me sharing this i was going to share this at leadership there was no way i could do it on stage without crying so if i cry i'm sorry but it's just it's the it's the truth of what we do in this business and i think that being able to have even the slightest fingerprint on that ripple effect of the beach body I call it the beach body butterfly effect. And think about that whenever you are inviting, you don't know what's gonna happen five years from now. And you don't know who, you know, in your downline could be one of your greatest friends. And Danae and Mandy are some of Andre and I, Andre is my husband, our greatest friends. And Danae was raised in Alabama as a gay woman <clears throat> and she didn't believe in herself. And I got to see her a year ago. She came to Fort Lauderdale to Super Saturday to meet with Andre and I, and she came with Mandy. And to see the transformation that that girl has had and to be able to move out of Alabama, and there's nothing wrong with Alabama, but to move and to be able to believe in herself and to be able to come into her own and to rock the heck out of this business and to be able to find love in a way that most people will probably never experience. And it was all done through coaching. 
I just think is the most beautiful, amazing thing. And to be able to say that I even had like one tiny little smidge of a fingerprint on that butterfly effect makes my job entirely worth it. And if anybody ever questions that, then I, that's just what I think about is just what the future holds and that butterfly effect. So if you ever do question, you know, do I invite this person and am I doing the right thing? There is a person like Danae out there that you could forever change the course of their life and help them believe in themselves. So I, oh my gosh, I did pretty good there. So that's why, that's why I do what I do. And that's why I present the business opportunity. So I hope that that can help you guys. I hope that all of this helped you guys. I love you guys. And I will be in here. I'll stay in here throughout today and I'll do my best to answer all of your questions. Bye dudes. Love y'all.